Hey, how you guys doing? All right, we're back. Okay, want to make sure everything's working. Okay, hold on. Let's see if this is uh, Operation Go. Sorry about that, guys. There we go. Okay, we're we're back. Let's see if this works now. Okay, perfect. Gotcha. Alrighty, alrighty then. Okay, I'm still working with the uh, the uh, premiere thing, so I really enjoy it. I hope you guys like it. I'm uh, it's something new, so I'm trying to get it all managed out time wise, so that it doesn't interfere with our streaming. So, but I hope you guys like the the streaming one. I'm really working on um, managing that out. So, there should be new coming out pretty soon as well. So, let's do this thing. Okay. hope they fall for this. Sometimes they fall for this trick. We'll see if he does. Hmm. So he doesn't. Ha, ah, rat. Sometimes they'll they'll move something else and they'll forget that's there. So let's see what do we got here? What do we got? What do we got? Okay. All right, takes takes night. Oh, wait a second. That was a bad move. Drat. <laughs> that was a bad move. I can't believe I did that. Ah, I lost a rook and a pawn. That's okay. I was going to attack. I should have attacked that way. That's okay. That's okay. Just have to go more... Uh, tactical at that point at this point ooh so he didn't take the rook very puzzling and now I can bring my rook over and we'll start taking advantage of this uh, openness get this involved here Let's get this. We'll try to reroute our, our pieces in. See how this works out. There we go.
Interesting. Oh, well, that doesn't work because you could play here. So we don't like this very much. So I have to take there. I don't think there's any other way of uh, handling that. I still have a, I still have enough material to beat this guy, so it's not like it's not like it's over at any any uh, any end. I still have two rooks, so. Oh, <laughs> oh man. Okay, that that was a bad move there. Okay, back here. I needed to. Let's go over this. That was a bad move. I, I'll show you bright. I, let me see. What did I? Where did I go wrong here? Where should I have gone? All right. All right let's see. Oh wow. So that wins a pawn. I was wondering about that. So what happens here? How does how could how does that win upon? Okay, cause the queen's attacked. Oh, the queen's trapped. Snikes, I missed that. Hi. Okay, that makes sense now. Let's give that another go. I gotta make sure I I think before I move, so that that that'll help. I was blessed he didn't take that. Now I got a castle, and then I can get this these pawns pushing. Hopefully, castle's kingside, yeah. Okay, let's see if I can do a rook lift over here. And then aim there. I could do a rover. That he can actually fork there if I do that. Just gotta move my king. Think before you move. Think before you move. Let's see here. So he's gonna try to fork there. Hmm. Because if he plays there, I'll take with the rook. And then if he takes with the bishop, I take with my queen. Boom. Thank you. Very much. Two pieces for a rook. It's actually pretty darn tootin' good. Let's see. I believe I can actually... Win this pawn. Let me see. Is, is there any hidden trick to it? Yeah. Yep. 
Yeah, I'm just gonna take. I don't really see that he could do any checks or anything. He just gambited a pawn away. This bishop covers that, so I could just take there. Well, yeah, and I can actually take here because I have a knight protecting here. So I don't think he. I don't think he realized I had a knight protecting on d1. Yeah, I can see the chat. Uh, I just, I'm in the zone. Yeah, I'm in the zone right now, so we gotta we gotta stay in this zone area. I see here. I have to be. I have to make sure that I potentially can win another pawn. Hey. I'm gonna play right here. I'm gonna play there to guard that pawn, and then potentially I can push because then I'll have a rook. It's always a drawback. Kind of blocked that idea. I should, probably should have played there first. Let's see here. What do I want to do? What do I want to do? What do I want to do? have to hammer home an attack so I think I could try I think I trap his if I'm not mistaken I trap his rook so I think I win a rook here at least a rook oh I have the same exact rating as that guy well isn't that funny that's funny. Yeah, we'll do one more, then we'll get on to puzzles. Do you, I hope you guys like the premiere. I'm still working out how it works, so. Yeah, we'll do one more, and then, then we'll get on to... Yeah. I'm gonna just now I'm gonna play here, there. There's a there's a way of doing this, and I'm kind of learning how to do it. It's a formula, a pattern. I mean, oh yeah. Sometimes I I um, we all have our mistake moments and I we I move incorrectly. But we're getting there. We're getting there. Let's see. Oh boy. Okay.
thinking about um, playing here, there, and then takes, takes, and I think I went a pawn, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, I went a pawn here. So he might potentially play knight takes, pawn takes, bishop takes. If he does that, then I have bishop to f4. I think I got him here. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, he's gonna get he's gonna get smashed. This is this is the smashing position. Oh, he attacks there. Eh, rats. Very disheartening. Arg. Well, I guess I'm gonna have to. Uh, let me see. What do I want to go now? Let's see here. I guess I'm gonna have to retreat my queen back. I got a pawn though, so you know sometimes you have to. Do with what you got. Especially when his knight's awkwardly placed. So I have compensation for that awkwardly moved knight, yeah. Let's see here. If I if I play here, let's see, what can he do? Well potentially, let me see. <laughs> See if I play here, he's got there, there, there. I do have a check, don't I? And then I can implant my knight there. Hmm. He might try here, though, after that. And when I take, he takes. Yeah, I don't know if I want to play my knight there. I think that's too, uh, un, uh, not fun, we'll just say. Oh, so he willingly surrenders that. That's very odd for sure. Check after. Yeah, I'm gonna take here, then play, uh, play there. Let's see if we can uh, win this pawn here. I could also trade off too. Yeah, his position is kind of very funky. Oh wow, I think that was a bad move because of there. Ouch. Yeah, ouch. Yeah, well, I'm just going to have to trade off here. So I at least, I at least have a trade off, so... There goes my pawn advantage. He'll take so. Yeah, I forgot this pawn was hanging. I should have moved my king up first, then did that. That's okay. It's okay. We're still fine. This is covered, so he doesn't really have anything at this moment. So we got to pay more attention here to the position at hand. Okay. Let's see if I maybe I can come in, attack this bishop. Wow. <sighs> OK. 
Okay, let's see here. I might, I now could actually retreat back and attack that pawn. Sometimes, sometimes retreating moves are the moves you have to find. Yeah. So takes. And at this point. I pretend, I do have, I still have some uh, play so on the on the bishop so I'm I'm probably going to got to be careful here because I got I have to put a play there once because he's going to try to come here and undermine that pawn there I can play there at that point then I have check as well. I potentially might play rook here and then check. That that's an interesting move. I also potentially have a check there too, so hmm. Let's see what we got here. See here as well. Let's see. I think I could win. A, I think I could win another uh, pawn. I think I could win a piece again. Two pieces. Let's see here. Oh, drat. Come on, stay focused, stay focused. Okay. Oh, whew. Okay, I think we'll stop there. Uh, no, thank you. Uh, that was a close one. But let's go back here, though. I want to analyze this. I think there was a spot. There was a tactical spot. Hold on. I want to make sure I did. We had we had tactics there. That was uh, that was totally cool. I want to see this tactic sequence. I want to see if I missed something at all. Let's see here. Oh wow. That went that he retreats back there and then I Oh Snikes. Okay, I missed that for sure. So whatever thread I did have was gone at that point. So okay, play up there at that okay. What if he plays here though? Oh, you still have that. You still have that threat. But sweet, I knew there was a tactic here somewhere. So here is actually the 
the smackdown then you have to take there then he'd retreat because if he takes back you totally crush on that one yeah hey we found under time pressure that was good So, okay, we'll get the puzzles now, but man, that was fun. I gotta say, that was fun. We lost a couple, one, I mean, lost one we shouldn't have lost, but hey, you know what? We came back and won. Oh, let's take a look at that. Let's see, let's see. I want to see that. I don't know if they would have. I potentially that might have been an idea. I see what you're saying. And then if he takes here. You take there, he takes, and then you take. Oops, wait a second, my bad. You check. And then you just start gobbling up like Pac Man, the pawns. Yeah, and then after that, I believe we just lock down and, and I have a passer. So potentially I win here. Let me see, what is this? That's interesting for sure, but I, I that move, that one move, that pawn move, I was thinking of that. For some reason, I didn't uh, go all the way through though with it. So that that wasn't fun. Still won though, so it's not like we didn't win. But that would have been such a sweet win though. Alrighty, let's take a look. So, Levon versus Fabiano Caruana. Yeah, we gotta pray for Fabi. He, he's having a, a little bit of a downward trend. So, I know how that feels. Sometimes, you know, you're up here and then all of a sudden you go you start in a um, an elevation downward and it's like it's you can't be you can't stop sometimes and it's like boot and then eventually you, you get to climb right back up but so we got to keep him in our prayers and thoughts He's got what it takes to be the world champion. He just has to see it himself. So does Wesley. They both do. Yes, uh, before it, uh, there's a song on uh, I think it's Slam Jam or something like that. I I believe I can fly, and it and it says to actually believe it, you actually have to already see it. But not see it the way that we see it with our eyes. See it as that you can actually become it. And I hope that Fabiano, or I hope I'm pronouncing his last name, our first name right, uh, can see that he's he's a world champion. But until he's until he sees it, or till he if he doesn't see it, it'll it'll take him till he sees it. That's what I was taught by my grandfather that you have to and my mother that you have to be able to see it. It's uh, it's uh, the unseen thing. Yes, I am 100% right. I mean you're 100% right. <laughs> I other way around. 
But yeah, so wow, this is a really good game. Well, think about this. Um, Michael Jordan, he he knew that he was going to be the you know one of the greatest players ever in basketball. He would, and also comes you have to remember, it's not you know just like I see it, therefore I I'll become it. You have to also train. And he would spend like hours and hours just shooting uh, basketball hoops on three throw hoops, and he became so good that when they fouled him, and he would he actually won a lot of games by three throws. So, so that that's a great example uh, as well. Another chess example is uh, Alakine was uh, he came into chess late in, in his years and he didn't have the you know the ability or uh, not the ability he didn't have the natural talent that most uh, of the you know kids starting out had but he had a work ethic like there's no tomorrow he, he would just keep he would when other people were sleeping he'd be working so he he knew that the only way that he can get better was to outwork his opponents and that's true even till today to, to at this moment yes we have alpha zero yes we have stockfish but it doesn't take away the one thing that needs to be in chess good work ethic okay let's see here uh, okay let's see okay so so Levon oh we gotta flip the board I wanna see how Fabi plays this Levon's a cool player too. He he reminds me if I was you know compared to anybody Endgame I'd be more like Capablanca Nakamura. I'm more of a um, Levon in some aspects. If I'm white, I want to go for the knockout. You know what I mean? I don't care who I'm facing. If I'm white, I want to uh, basically take take him out take him out uh, hard okay so that so Fabiano wow he's expanding on the king side he could do this because of that yeah see it's uh, taking at this moment is uh, he has to take otherwise what will happen is if he retreats back Fabiano can actually expand on the on the king side. I'll show you if he if he actually just retreats back, he can actually take with the knight or expand and so that when the takes happens, now he's he's an expansion one more uh pawn up the board for the big crunch. So Now that this is, I like this move here. I like uh, a4. That's a really strong move. I I think it's an excellent move. It stops any of Levon's counterplay at this moment because he uh, Levon wanted to either play here or there to kind of maybe get stuff a rolling, maybe even bring a rook over and come down something like that. But the move, the pawn a4 prevents that on the spot. There's nothing that he can do. So we have to remember that. Uh, let me see here. What would be a good move for our for Levon? He'd probably have to he'd probably have to move his knight because he's got to get his majority on the queen side uh, uh, going. Because he's more he's stronger on the queen side than he has, is on the king side. So and also this allows every move has a idea behind it. This knight move allowed the push because then there's enough uh, attackers he can also implant if Fabiano takes he potentially can implant a knight there and then something similar to that or maybe maybe just uh, bishop takes knight takes and then something like that there we go and now we're in uh, to uh, somewhat of a closed game 
it could be opened by that, I understand. Or even uh, queen takes might actually be slightly better. So you have to take a look at that. Oh, nice expansion. You gotta love that. You gotta love that. That's pure aggression right there. That's fun to watch. Nice, nice move by Levon. He doesn't want to uh, play some odd move like that because then um, Fabi uh, can actually get a majority on the king side, and that could be the end for uh, king side attack. Because then what would happen is he would have to retreat back there and potentially maybe even snap that off. And then queen comes in, rook, and then you're attacking all the way there too. So you have to play something like that. And I don't know. I think I think Levon's still okay, but I don't think he'd he'd want to go into that. So that that was. So it takes there is interesting, huh? So he wins a pawn in that sitch. Okay, yeah, you gotta, you have to be careful. I know what it's kind of unhuman to play something like that, though. Do you really ever give up a? Oh, nice. Then you take. I gotta say though, uh, who's gonna who's gonna uh, do this back here though? I, I gotta say. Let's go back here. Who's gonna willingly allow the queen to check you? You know that you have to have a true understanding of of that it's okay to sacrifice. It's kind of like one of those. And then you're just you're letting yourself get opened. It's like really. Is that is am I seeing what I'm seeing? Yes, you can actually do this. It looks crazy, like close to insane, but really there's no checks. What could he? He can't check. See, no checks. All the checks that he would be checking. I guess he's got one check here, but that really doesn't do anything because then you could block. So all the checks that he would want to check are all guarded. Except for that one. So that that's crazy, but it actually works, so nice. Okie dokie. Yeah, you don't you gotta be careful when you start um taking pieces that you're not walking into a uh a trap. Surprisingly, that's actually a, uh, the takes is the, a losing move. Best is actually f8. Very surprising. I don't know, I probably would take here. And takes, takes. Yeah, I see kind of why he doesn't want to do that. Because of there, that's a weakness at that point. Huh. Well, I guess you have that, then you have that, that. And how many pawns does Levon have? Let's see, the six versus five. Actually, four. Yeah, so he's up a pawn. Surprisingly, that looks like that wins, but in reality, it doesn't win. Because now everything is. Well, wow. Yikesies, yikesies. How do you win this? Uh, 
That's crazy. How do you how do you win that? Yeah, but doesn't he have that? Let's see. I really like that he does take the rook. So okay, if he takes a uh, rook, takes. Yeah, cause yeah, I see what you're saying. It's kind of like, but you have to you have to look that sometimes though taking looks correct, but in reality it's not. It'd be so tempting to uh to just gobble that up right there. But you have to move your bishop first, then you gobble. Oh wow, so you'd have to get that push in gobble. Gobble, bishop takes, knight takes and Hmm. Interesting. Very interesting. That was a blunder. He should have checked. That he should have uh, uh, pinned the queen there. He allowed Fabi out of the. And so potentially this may come to a draw. Okay. Yeah, he has to move there, doesn't he? And Levon's got a queen. And it's game over. Ouch. Let's see, where did it where did that actually where did Fabi go awry? Uh, let me see here. Let's go back here. Everything's fine so far. Taking is fine. Oh, this is where he went awry. Here. Yeah, I think you're still fine at this point. I don't really see any uh, drawbacks. I think Fabi would still be fine in this position. I think it's still draw because uh, Fabi Ano has or Fabi has a pass pawn. So this is this will be Levon's focus to get stopped. And we have to remember that knights have the ability of going to both dark and light squares. Bishops are stuck on one on one color, so we have to take keep that in mind when we uh, do our you know move sequences when you're going to exchange down. That was a good game. Thank you, uh, Fox, for that game. That was a, a pro chess twenty one. Uh, somebody already imported that. All right.
let's get some let's get some of that some of those uh, points back I mean not back let's get some of these points earned all right let's do this thing that was a great game that shows you that you have to be careful with trades because even though it looks like you can win a uh, a rook in that scenario winning the rook actually lost the game Because what it did is it pulled the knight off to the side rather than having the rook was actually a decoy to pull the knight off so that uh, Levon could come in with the horde of extra pieces and just gobble up a Fabiano's king side. Also, be careful when you expand on the king side. It's, you know, make sure that you're you're not expanding too fast. Let me see here. Excuse me. Okay. We have to take a look. What do we got here? Okay, this is on an open file. But if you notice, it's on the same color of the bishop. So potentially we have... Let's see. Can't we just take rook takes? Rook takes rook. Don't we actually win a piece in that scenario? Let's see. With check. King moves. So we take here. Rook takes rook. Check. King take king uh, h2. There has to be a reason that that rook moves not right. I'm trying to find out what that reason is. Hmm. It's weird. I don't really see why that's not correct. Huh. I think we just win a whole piece in that scenario. I think we have to. I think I got the reason why if we take here, rook there, we can actually move our bishop back here. Remember, the queen pins the the, queen, the pawn's pinned to the queen, so we can actually take this knight and not lose our bishop. Yeah, I, I think you're right on that. Let's see if that's the correct move now. I think what White's trying to do, I know C5 is an interesting move as well. That does that isn't that is an interesting move too. The only sitch I'm having a problem with is potentially Knight there, so. The only problem with that too is queen takes b5. Potentially he's got queen takes b5. So if we push the pawn, queen takes b5. And he's won a pawn. 
I don't think we really have anything for that at that point. We might have, we potentially may have Rook, this Rook uh, A3 is an idea as well, so that would take advantage of this long. Yeah. I, I like your idea of the bishop, but remember, each move has a drawback. This move leaves that hanging to the bit, uh, queen, so we have to always keep that in mind. Trying to see if that's not rook. Rook a3 might not be the winning attack, but then he potentially has queen to b3, which then attacks there, but I don't know. We do potentially have a uh, queen here, but I, I don't think that does anything. I actually like that because even if he plays here, we have we have queen there, and so I think that stops everything. So if we play here, he's gonna have to retreat out. So he'll potentially retreat there. Let's just check what we got here. Ninety four. Well, in that scenario, I believe that does work. Only there was a way to get this open here, and then we can actually play potentially a check with our rook and bishop. So it's the one the one imbalance that we have is our two bishops versus our knights. So oh boy, 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 boy. I think his idea is to actually play. No, he can't play there. We'd take it.
trying to see. I'm thinking. I, I really. There's that. And if he goes here, we have there, so he's not gonna do that. So here, if he goes there. And then if he moves there, we can always retreat our rook back, pinning the queen. And then if we play here, and he takes, we can actually take. And then if queen takes there, hmm, we can take there. This is a very uh, puzzling endgame. Yeah. This is our only imbalance here at this point, so we have to take we have to take advantage uh we could also go um Queen A6, but I think that's what you're saying about there. Oh man, this is um, very tricky. Well, if we this is our uh, our imbalance right now is this pin, so we have to see if we can take advantage of it.
We have to take we have to take advantage of this though. See, that's that's our imbalance. That's what's making me think that potentially rook to a three isn't the move. But if we do that, then we lose our pin uh, imbalance. So, so here takes. Here takes. Takes takes. But if we play here, it goes there. Hmm. Just not seeing this for some reason. What am I missing here? I I see that, but I for some reason either this is calling out to me or that because those are the most active aggressive moves. Let's see, Queen A seven, uh, Knight here, C five, Queen takes B five. Well, potentially that might be an idea because even if he takes there, we still have our. Um, I don't know though. I'm not sure if that's too slow. So he's gonna take so There, there, here, there, there, I'm sorry, so there, there, hmm, no, that doesn't work, here, here, so here, here, Seven.
Okay, let's see here. So if we were to trade our, our king back, age five. <laughs> Thinking about playing uh, King H5, King G1, and then Rook uh, over to G3. That's what my idea is kind of here. Because if we play back and he plays g5, we actually have rook g3. And I don't really think he has really anything more to do. Let's see here. Also, this uh, allows the protection here. So if he plays there, I play queen here, there's a mate. So here. There, there, so you can't do that. I'm thinking that G, uh, King G1 is the best in this scenario. Because really there's no more checks. There's nothing he can really do. If he plays here, we win there. So his his next move out, out of this situation, if we move back, is going to be H5. And so then we can play there. And I, I believe King to G1 is the uh, final KO because... He's going to try to play there, isn't he? Hmm. Yeah, I believe that that's probably the move. Let me see if he... Because then we have... Yeah. And then we play there. And if he plays here... We can just take there. If he takes there, we take there. Yeah. Then you have que you have rook there at that point. Rook f five. That blocks everything. Yeah. See, so queen takes, pawn takes.
think that's forced. I think taking is actually forced here. Yeah, I believe it's that's forced, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's the problem. You just sometimes you just gotta suck it up and just play that the move that they want. Let's see here. I'll do uh, one more here in these puzzles and then I've got a log. Yeah, I'm learning about how um, the premiere. You have to be careful how you uh, set it up because otherwise you won't. You can't actually stream while you're. Uh, recording streaming so I had to wait a little bit of time before I could uh, stream I was gonna stream like about 30 minutes uh, you know before it ended but I, I I'm kinda new to the to the premiere thing so because I wanted to do more uh, puzzles with you guys but now I know how the premiere works so I'm going to set it so that it doesn't interfere with um, the streaming time. So it's it's one of those learning lessons that you have to uh, go through. Let's see here. Very odd setup he's got here. This is very different for sure. G5, let's see here. Trying to see what do we got here? What do we got? What do we got? Potentially, uh, we may have. Uh, E4, that might be an idea. Because if he takes, then we take and we win the rook. So E4, and then if he pushes, we can actually take. And then if queen takes, we can actually attack the queen. Actually, no, if we push, he pushes, if we take, takes there, we actually win the rook. So e, f, e, f three, e4 is it. Or is it e4 is the, the winning move here? Because it opens up the king. Surprisingly, our king is actually safe. That it's pretty surprising, but queen e5. Uh, it's either queen e5 or no. We don't want to do. Uh, we don't want to open this up here. So e f e4 is the uh, ko knockout. And if he plays here, we can actually take. Uh, e4, does he have queen e5? Queen e5? Well, hopefully he does play queen e5, because then we'll take here. I'd really like him to actually do that. If he goes queen e5, we actually take the rook. So he's, he is, this move is the, the, the bone cruncher of the moves. If he pushes, we actually take. And then uh, next couple moves might actually be 
trapping of the queen. And well, if he does, then we win there. What about queen e2? Queen e2 is uh, d2. Uh, is an interesting move, but remember, each move has drawback. We no longer can uh, play uh, d4 anymore because remember, we're in a pin at this point with the rook. So we have to always consider ide the ideas. This move takes advantage of every single thing because if he takes here, we take back. And we uh, we win, yeah. Let's see here. We gotta move fast on this tactic, otherwise uh, he'll recover and he'll get us. I just, I, I just know that he four has to be the move. It's the most aggressive move in this in that situation. I see that it actually, any move that he moves, he's almost lost. I, I see what you're saying about um, his rook's almost gone. Okay, uh, rook d8 takes, rook takes, queen slides in. And we forked the rook and the king. This has to be the, the KO, because even if he plays up here, we can take. And then if he moves. Hmm. Let's see. Well, then you have uh, Rook coming over here. King checks. And uh, if he moves. That's the only move I see that has any uh, attacking merit. So, okay, if we play e4, rook slides over, takes, pawn takes, and check. No, we don't want to check there, we want to check here. So here, here, there, there, check. King there.
I kind of see what you're saying here and then there. Hmm. Yeah. I think that might be right now that I now that we look at it. Yeah, because I don't think there's any way for his rook to retreat out. Is it? Yeah, you're right on that. You're right. That's that's the move. And then if you place queen here, we just retreat there, and he loses. Yeah, you're right about that. Oh, let me see if this is right. Hmm. Hmm. I think it's a, yeah, I think he wins here. Holy ravioli, it likes, oh. Okay. Okay. Well, with that, we'll, uh, we did good on the other one. It's it's okay. Well, I got to log off. We'll, we'll pick up uh, from here tomorrow. So, guys, remember, as what so says, serve the Lord Jesus, I say God bless. And remember, keep studying chess, guys. You're doing great. Um, we're getting the um, premiere um, uh, set up going. So, and I'm probably going to get on a little earlier tomorrow. So... I had to wait till the uh, premiere ended. So we're learning how that works. But remember, only look back to learn. Don't dwell there. Just remember, keep moving forward because that's, that's important. And remember like what we talked about. You have to see it before you can be it. Like the song, I believe I could fly on uh, Space Jam. So remember that. And always, you know, there's a plan in the position. You just got to find it. And uh, when you do, you get to say like what Hannibal Smith says, I love it when a plan comes together. Remember, uh, just keep pushing forward, guys, okay? Have a great rest of the night. Be blessed. And uh, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye, guys.